Hey everyone, Dogmatic71 here and welcome to Dogmatic DIY. Today we're going to work on making these little wood wall art uh, pictures of animals here. And as you can see this one here, you have a deer and a doe shaped like a heart. This one here is 12 inches by 16 inches. So all I used was a couple pieces of scrap wood from uh, fence boards, so scrap fence boards, and some scrap pine cut into inch and a half pieces, and brad nailed around. And the backing is just a scrap piece of quarter inch plywood. What I like to do is I like to stain whatever I'm staining the back of the silhouette I guess you want to call it um, from the quarter inch plywood I want to match it with the frame so it kind of ties it all together and I'm not putting any stain on the old fence boards all I'm doing is sanding it down and it still has that weathered look um, that a new fence board that you would buy at a store just wouldn't have so I'm going to show you how to build it so let's get started Since this is going to be overall 12 by 16 and it's going to be lengthwise it's going to be longer um, just because the picture I'm making is not 100% uh, even with the length so this will be 12 by 16 here so I'll center this let me get my carbon paper out and then I'll kind of scribe this into here that way we can actually let me sand this first i'll sand these two pieces down and then i'll put the carbon paper on and scribe the the pattern on there and then we'll come back okay so as you can see i jumped ahead here and i decided to do a black background so I have little scrap pieces of quarter inch plywood that will cover this whole cutout section so I decided by doing it black I'll do the framing black so what you do here is as you can tell I'll flip it over it's not the full length and width of the frame to me it only has to cover the section that's carved out and you want a little bit extra because I brad nailed from behind. So I made sure that I wasn't going to put brad nail, a brad nail in where the hole was. So I kind of tried to keep it on the outside here. And then I did a couple brad nails inside here to make sure this didn't, didn't cause see how close we are to the edge i didn't want this to break off so i do have a brad nail in, in each one of these around say about round here as well you know we did a couple measurements from behind to make sure to kind of hold that together um then what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple coats of poly so i'm going to add a couple coats of poly and then we're done so let me get the, the poly done and then we'll come back Okay, so I got the poly, I got two coats. Don't need to have a bunch of coats on there. It's just uh, gonna hang up on the wall. Um, but that's pretty much it. I got a couple coats of poly on here. And it brings out the grains nicely on, on this old uh, weathered fence boards. I do a couple, you know, a couple nail holes, not a big deal. Uh, you kind of want that rusted look. What I do too, is I have a little hanging frame. I find the center and I put it in the middle there and then put some little three quarter inch screws in there to hold it together. It's super light, so it's not like you need to worry about will it hold the weight because this is only a 12 inch by 16 inch. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. 
hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I post another video. We'll talk to you later.